hello how are you doing today in this video i want to show you how to dimension an irregular shaped site in revit if you look at this site now it is a, a kind of a rhombus in shape and so if you don't have uh, experience in dimensioning in revit you might have problem dimensioning this type of site and in this video that is exactly what i'm going to show you now make sure you watch it to the end now if i pick dimension for instance now and i try to die i want to dimension from here to here and you can see it's not snapping at where i want to snap it's, it's, it's really not working if I want to dimension from here to here and I try to snap from center, it will still not give me what I want. Then if I pick linear and I try to snap from here, it will still not give me what I want. So how are you going to solve this kind of problem? There is no need to worry. See what we are going to do. We are going to pick line. And the line we we'll use is annotate line and we'll pick detail line. And this is a particular line that I've created before. So I'm going to be using this. I call it Punisher. Your own name may be different from my own name. But mine, I call my own Punisher. So instead of draw now i'm going to pick then i'm going to give an offset let it offset by one meter so that i'm going to pick the center of this uh, fence wall i will pick the center of this wall i will also pick the center of this wall i will pick the center of this wall you can see these lines are parallel to the to the fence or to the boundary line they are par all of them are parallel to the corresponding bounding line so i am going to trim them so that i will separate them from each other i want to separate them from each other this is the best way i can separate them then I am going to delete these ones so that all of them are separate, are well separated. Then I'm going to extend this one to the center. I'm going to extend all of them to the center of the wall. Since my dimension is going to be from center to center, I make sure this is this one go to the center. Then this one also go to the center of that wall then i am using extend and this one also go to the center of this wall then let this go to the center of this wall and this one go to the center of this wall all right so i am going to pick my dimension now if i pick my dimension i'm going to pick the dimension for sides then i can simply dimension something just to activate that dimension now that dimension is activated uh, let me delete this one for now so i'm simply going to pick the line and i'm going to hit this small small thing you are seeing there if i like i move it there then i select this i'm going to hit here can see the dimension is done then if i select this line i will hit this and if i like i move the dimension outside if i select this i'm going to pick this and i can move the dimension out let me let me blend it with the 
line so that nobody will know that it is line I use okay now if you want it to be exactly what it is in the survey plan you can simply select select this and go to filter and filter out dimension then you now correct it to to the exact number you have in your survey plan if i select this i will uncheck dimension then i'm going to correct this to to the exact number i have in the survey plan i'm also going to select this i will filter out dimension then i'm going to correct it to 150 okay so this one also i'm going to filter out line and i'm going to correct this to to the exact thing i have in the, the survey plan so you can see the the site is fully dimensioned now if you like and gain anything from this video i like you to hit the like button and share it with your friends so that they too will benefit from this video i have a course on udemy on revit it is a comprehensive course get all the details you need to know about how to use revit thank you for watching this video and don't forget to subscribe to my channel subscription is free and see you in the next video bye